This is King, an ex-Red Saber gang leader who roamed the swamps along with his gang, preying on travelers, merchants, and farmers alike. Until recently, King and his gang managed to avoid the law and stay on the low. But they were getting too ambitious, hitting bigger caravans and pulling off greater heists. Fed up with this, the United Cities paid off a rival and rising gang called the Arachnids to take out King. Using the money the United Cities provided, the Arachnids could afford top-notch weapons and armors and ambushed King and his gang. The men fought with great ferocity to protect their leader and afford him a chance to escape, but they all paid with their lives to make it happen. Gravely wounded and burning for vengeance, King retreats to the hub, vowing to become as powerful as he can to get back at the people who took everything from him. This is his story. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video and the beginning of uh, the journey of King, the ex-Red Saber bandit uh, who just got basically his entire world shattered. He is now thirsty for power, He his dignity is gone and uh, you know, he needs to uh, come up in the world. We're out here in the hub, basically my favorite place in Kenshi. Uh, all great stories start from the hub, you know? King is absolutely broke. All he has with him is basically his saber, say the signature weapon of the red sabers, and the clothes on his back and like 74 cats. He will go hungry soon, so he needs to get moving, you know? So King lost basically the closest thing he has to a family. Uh, his uh, gang members, and he has a bounty on him from the United Cities. So until we rebuild ourselves and become strong swordsmen capable of taking down multiple opponents, we are going to stay clear of United Cities so that we don't go to jail or worse. So my plan is basically this, since we are now in the hub and we need a lot of money to become powerful, we're going to resort to what King knows best violence and banditry we're basically going to look for weak and vulnerable targets with you know uh, good equipment or stuff that we can sell that's going to get us money and also some stats that will be very important in our journey we're basically going to try and get 10k cats that's going to cover some gear for ourselves and also there is a combat master uh, not too far away from the hub where we can buy training katanas We'll find a weak uh, opponent, we'll knock them down, kidnap them, we give them one of the katanas and we force them to train with us. That will raise my uh, attack skills tremendously. And, uh, you know, because it's a training katana, we, we don't really risk uh, dying or killing our opponent. And that'll basically be a bunch of like stats for us. Once that is done and we are more powerful, uh, we'll either head south uh, or we'll, we'll head to the desert where uh, United Cities uh, have their headquarters and we're just going to give them a real bad taste of karma. That's rich coming from King, I know, as he is a bandit, but hey, King was offended and do not underestimate one of what an offended man can do. All right, without further ado, we're going to be uh, hungry soon, so let's... Uh, start moving let's first look in the hub there's a lot of rich uh, and intriguing characters here in the hub oh my god look at that guy i know a certain character who's in the same universe as king who would be very very uh, envious of him and before you ask will king ever meet the beast yes stay tuned Ooh, here he is one of the troublemakers here in the hub uh he's just got a small wakizachi but uh he's like i don't look like that look in your eye petty it, pissant you smirking at me and i'll be like uh-huh crack your knuckles then let's go you oh <laughs> all right let's go then come on he's literally just some guy man come on you got this you're a gangster show him what you got uh, get away, sir. Otherwise, you're gonna get hurt. Come on. Ooh, that's a nice spinning move. Hey, 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 don't don't get in on this, man. I got him. I had him, guard. You didn't have to intervene. Uh, ooh, dude, we already have like two thousand. If we just sell that shirt, you be that, and we'll take a secondary weapon. Why not? We've acquired a shirt. Some good protection right there. Hey, this Jerome guy is his friend, huh? All right, that's a nice sword. I really want that sword. Come on, Jerome. Come on, Jerome. Is he? He's basically like nodding no with his head. <laughs> Oof. We ate that. 
Pokemon King. Ooh, nice block. Nice block. <sighs> Come on, man. You got this. That sword is going to be huge, by the way, if we take it. It's a game changer right there. Nice. We, we uh, ruined his arm. We broke his arm. Very nice. Just keep it up. Keep it up. Why? Right, look. We're taking the sword and we're getting out of here. We're no longer welcome in the hub. Alright, let's lose the, the gear. Get that on. Give me that. That's better than what I have. Give me that. Take the turtleneck as well. Why not? And the 69 cats. Thank you. Oh, I see. This is not a guard. That's another vagrant. He's, he's friends with... Uh, with that guy. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, King. You actually got this, man. I believe. I believe. I just heard something snap in, uh, in King. Dude, we, they are brawling, man. King is in a bad shape. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Heal, 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 heal. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Heal, 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 heal. First of all, let's take away his weapons so that even if he wakes up, he um can do anything. Can keep this. I'll take that mask just in case. I'd actually really love to get those ninja rags. Tell you what, let's lose this red saber gear. Frame this guy in case. Uh, the United City comes looking for us. Dude, King just basically pretty much soloed the re-vagrants in the hub. <laughs> what a man you are, King. Look at this Sonic the Hedgehog looking ass. Now I understand why he was wearing a mask. I need some more healing, honestly. Let's go in. Man, they roughed up King the hub for real. Hey man, I'm gonna need some healing before my leg gets cut off. Oh, he, he actually hears that there's a fight outside, instantly doubles the price of bandages. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to sell something to buy it. Give me the bandages. Thank you very much. If we sell the Nodachi, we already have one of the weapons, like the training weapons that we want. Yes, let's do it. And we'll go upstairs and sleep off these injuries. All right, we're in tip-top shape now. Let's go downstairs. We'll buy some food and then we'll head out. Mm, they only have the food cube. I'll take it. Don't really have that much of a choice. Are the people outside dead? One is dying, one is crippled, and another one is dying. Let me just uh, fix that for you guys real quick. No, you are not going to save yourself. You are going to die. Oh, I just cut off his leg. <laughs> And that's for disrespecting King. All right, I think that's all we're going to get out of the hub. So let's go out on the open road. The injuries I suffered from that fight were actually kind of kind of too much because we did lose a lot of blood. If we get into another fight, there is a chance that we would bleed way too easily, you know? Is that a caravan with a beak thing in it? What? The Western Hive. Dude, I, I've been playing Kenshi for years. And only in the last video and this video have I seen the beak thing in, in a caravan. Caravan. Also, is that a spider? Yo, a lost robot spider. This might turn ugly real quick. I'm gonna stay here to like watch it. I didn't see them. All right, well, let's follow that spider, see what it gets up to. Hello to you guys. Yeah, the robot spider is just completely lost. Who are those guys? Hold on. Who are these? Radiants from Mongrel. Ah, those are the people who live in the mist over here. Let's talk to them, see what they're up to. I want to hire somebody. Ah, okay. So these are like bodyguards. All right, well, carry on then. There is an outpost east of the hub. Let's go see if there are any opportunities over there. Ah, oh, hello there, madam. That's a nice backpack. I couldn't help but notice the lack of weaponry on you as well. Allow me to introduce myself. King, part-time uh, handsome boy, full-time bandit. Give me all you got. Ooh, nice dodges. Dodge this though. <laughs> I mean, nice try. I, I really respect the, the fact that she tried. Uh, nothing on her other than the backpack. Well, thank you for the backpack. She's probably going to bleed out. Well, not my problem. I am going to become a master swordsman, but I'm also going to be an evil master swordsman. I don't have to be Sifu. And hey, backpack acquired. Hmm. Let's go south of the hub then. The road connecting the hub and the... Um, I, I forget what the... Czech Kingdom. Quinn, yes. 
The road connecting these two must have some travelers. It's like a major economic uh, trade route. What is that woman screaming about? Also, more importantly, what is that ye haircut? That's Squin right there, but I haven't really met anyone, any passerbys. But I'm thinking, what if we just camp at this crossroads right here? Like, eventually someone's gonna turn up, right? It's not a bad idea, not gonna lie. I could also pop into Squin, go get me a sleeping bag, and this could be my, like, Temporary outpost, why not? Wait, 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 who's that approaching? A Ronin. Ooh. Ooh, how I wish I could fight this person. Mm. She's got a defense of 91. There's no way I could ever land a, a hit on her. All right, let's go in. None of the shops are probably going to be open, so let's just find a, a bar to sleep in. Spend the night there. There's one. Check will crush every last flat skin nest in this world. The greedy fat cowards repulse me. Here's a reminder to put the check on my kill list once I am a master swordsman. They are the most arrogant, most annoying race in uh, Kenshi, not gonna lie. Raise your sword, prove your worth if you are to s if you are to set foot in my kingdom. And who are you? Daphine. Let's talk to her. An outsider. How exotic. I'm curious, outsider. Do you know much about uh, much of the Sheik custom? Not really, no. Around here, a Sheik's standing is measured in bravery and battle skill, as in the same footsteps of Kral. Foreigners are only tolerated in this town for their trade, under the Stone Golem's orders. Every Sheik in this city is itching for a fight since she came to power, especially against an honorless foreigner like you. I suggest you keep your head down if you want to leave the city in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a fun city. Then you'll fit in well around here. We live and breathe battle in the Sheikh Kingdom. Only through honorable battle can we gain passage to the Holy Lands. You'd do well to know our customs if you are to survive in this town. Ah, well, thanks for the advice. Mm. I would love to kidnap someone like that and fight them once I get the training katanas. Alright, let's do some trading. Sushi, bruh. I've gotta have me some sushi, alright? This is Kenshi gotta have me some sushi i'm the kind of guy who uh for the first time i ate sushi ever right was with my with my girl and i was like i, I ate the sushi and i was like hmm and she vibes all right let's just chill around here until it's morning and we can do some shopping all right shops are open let's go see what this is all about sleeping bag there we go a thousand oh my god i'll take it also, if we could go check out the armors real quick. Get some drip going. Gotta look good to train good, you know? Flat skin. And the racism in this town is out of this world. All right, let's see. I'm looking for some pants, to be honest. That's like 32 cats. I'll take it just to try it out. What do I look like? Sheesh. You know what? I like it. Let's get a better color then. That one is even reinforced. It's cheap. I'll try it. Oh my god, I look great. Sold. Give me that. Take that take that off my hands thank you very much now let's go and uh establish that powers and we'll uh wait for some innocent uh, travelers to prey upon speaking of which who's that over there a wandering monk that person could probably kill me no leave them alone leave them alone if you know what's best for you all right let's just chill here until it's time i'm looking at some outlaws over there let's see Ooh, dude they wanted in the Sheik kingdom i could start some trouble here bro i could start some trouble here the thing is, if I fight them here, those boys will probably even help me out since they're outlaws, you know? These guys are bound to have good gear, though. You know what? I'll at least try. All right? I'm luring her away. No, please stay out of this. Please, please, please. All right, I'll fight her. Come here. Oh, my God. Finally. Finally. An actual good katana. I can actually call myself a swordsman now. All right, let's go help these Sheik fight. Let's go. Ooh, this weapon is even better. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my god. Right, you know what? Since I started this whole thing up, I'll, I'll wait and see if they they didn't take anyone. Well, hey, free loot then. <laughs> if I sell all three of these swords, I could probably... Ooh, wait, who's the best fighter here? That's the best fighter, right? Oh my god. Look at that saber. I took her weapon from her. All right, they're waking up. Get out of here. They're following me to retrieve their master. Come here, I can fight you. Come on, then. <laughs> they just bonked the guy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. You know what? I'll keep that saber. It looks badass as hell. All right now, I need to lock this person away or something. Dude. Oh, my God. The outlaw has cake. Bruh. Right, I need to go back to that rebel base so I could... Mm, thing is... You know what? Look. I'll keep you here. 
Stay here, all right? Please don't leave. She escapes the moment she's let go. She's trying to fight me? Yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo. Who the hell is this woman, bro? Oh, my God. That's a specialist grade armor. I just realized. Take that. Take that. Take that. We need that. That vest as well. Please. You know what? I'm going to get out of here before she wakes up. Because that person is insane. <laughs> but hey, I did take her down. She is probably scarier without the ring favor than she is with it. Uh, also, let's see. Oh, we haven't healed. Now, let's go to the rebel base. Get the two katanas that we need. And we can get started on trading our uh, attack and defense. We just got some insane gear from that, by the way. I just realized this ring saber does 1.38 cutting damage. Compared to that overpowered katana from before, it's not even one. Oh my god, bro. We have just become super deadly, by the way, from that one fight. Although I got carried throughout pretty much all of it. <laughs> I think I would have had that first person, at least. The guy, the person with the, the girl with the long coat. But hey, it doesn't matter. We sell everything off. Yeah, I won't use that. It only covers like some of the chest area. Uh, we'll sell that. Uh, my scimitar, you served me well, but see you later. And we'll sell those katanas as well we are on 19,000 cats <laughs> all right where's that uh combat master he hangs out around here all the time that's him yeah combat sensei show me your goods and we can get uh that, 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 that katana training katana for 5300 and a practice saber in case we want to switch it up very cool now let's go back to our camp and on the way if we do find someone uh not very willing sparring partner we're gonna kidnap them band of blades i'm not messing with them they look pretty nasty An outcast warrior wait what happened Did something happened in the hub while i was gone no all seems all right wait 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 who are you A drifter let me fight him that could be our sparring partner hey kid come here let's see what you made of Ooh. Ooh. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We need, we need to pick him up now. Pick him up now. And then I give myself the medic job. Will I? Mm, no, nah, sit down. Let's first aid him. I think he's no longer losing blood. And boom. Now we pick him up and we go to our little camp thingy. Actually, we can just do it like somewhere here. That's the hub over there. Me and my <laughs> newly acquired friend. Uh, let me just give take that from him. And I'll give him the... Since I have the saber, I'll keep the saber. And he gets that. Give me that money. You're, you're about to learn so much from this, all right, as well. Like, I'm doing you a favor as well. I'm taking your pants. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Look. I'm taking your pants from you. Ugh. I'll pretend like I'm gonna leave him alone and then I'll come back. Bro literally won't wake up. God damn it. There he is. All right, go, 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 go. King, king, go, 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 go. Hey, buddy. Let's spar. Come on. It's gonna be fine. There we go. They do zero damage. So we can just spar here all day long. Me and the Kermit. <laughs> That's a cool name. All right, we're starting at 26 attack and 33 defense. I'll work out with my friend throughout the night and then uh, you guys will catch up with us, see how uh, the training goes, all right? All right, it's seven in the morning and me and my friend Kermit have been going at it all night long. If anything, I, th I feel like Kermit learned more than I did. Let's look at his stats. He's on 48 minus nine. I'm on 45 minus nine. Yeah, he's learned more attack than I did, but I'm pretty sure I learned. Yeah, I learned more defense and look at them go at each other. Isn't that beautiful? We're unlocking some new moves as well, like that slashing and like twirling motion. That That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> look at Kermit go, bro. Our dexterity also went up. Like you could see that our guy is becoming more shredded, you know? All right, Kermit, it pains me to say it, but we need to get moving. Let me open my bag, put that away bring out the real weapon let me put down kermit to sleep so i can take my katana back damn he do be resisting though am i even gonna be able to retrieve my katana from him i'm pretty sure i will dude this guy this guy give me my katana back bro i taught you how to fight at this point there you go all right let's take our katana back here's yours stay dangerous my friend let me just patch you up before i go there you go that was beneficial for me as much as it was for him you're welcome buddy that guy is gonna mess up the next person he fights I created the monster and I left him behind. Also, I got 51 from sabers, from learning sabers from that. 
That's huge, 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 huge. Next person I catch, I'm gonna learn how to do katanas next. Here's the camp. Yep, Snow took the saber from his gun, but whatever. I'll just take uh, my sleeping bag. I'll dismantle this campfire here. Remember, only you can stop forest fires. And then you know what? We're gonna head deeper into Shek territory. They've got some really overpowered fighters down here. It will be good training and good development for my character. All right, let's check on the weapon shop. How's it looking in there? Anything cool? Make yourself a warrior flat skin? I know I am. Oh, yo, 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 yo. What is all this? What is all this? Leviathan Slayer. I can cosplay as Guts if I wanted to. Bruh. The, the cleavers. Ooh, there's some stuff in here. There's some metal stuff in here. Cosplay as uh, Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. A bunch of stuff in here, man. But nah, nothing nothing for a swift, like the wind uh, type of warrior like me. Let's continue our journey. Also, let me just show you. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, our boy's getting shredded. Oh my god, bro. And that's just like halfway through. So I'm thinking we go like we do, we do a big roundabout around the swamp and then end up in United City. Uh, yeah, show them your gear. Acceptable, go, thank you. We do a big roundabout, and then we end up in United Cities territory anyway. And that's where we wanted to go to begin with, to have some revenge with our newly acquired skills. An exile camp that's like south of this world. Uh, way station. Give it a look. Oh, I think I know where I am. Do I? Yeah, yeah. I know where I am. I know where I am. Who are those guys walking in here menacingly? Tech hunters. Oh, interesting. What do we have here? A bar and a mechanical shop. No, let's go check out that exile camp. It's those Shek. <laughs> let's go and see what, what happens here. Intruders die? Who are they even fighting? That person is coming for me. Come on then. Let's see what you made of. Let's go over here so that your friends don't interfere. Come on. You Shek talk so much. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, we're styling. Dude, he's holding his ground. Ooh. So telegraphed. But he, and he still caught it. All right. Uh, up, up, up. Nice. Swift moves like that. Ooh, he guarded that. Swift moves. Come on. There we go. Ooh, he landed his first shot. There we go. Ooh, that was nice. That was a heavy one as well. Nice combo! Get comboed! Get bodied! Hmm. Do I do I kidnap this person? Do I take this person? No. Let him die. Who's next? That guy's next. Come on then. Get over here. Let's see what you're made of. Come on then. Oi. Okay. <laughs> Drop! Get dropped! Let me take his weapon. Boom, weapon taken. He's unconscious. Alright. Next! Is there anyone else? Is there no one else? I am sipping tea in your hood. Who's gonna do something about it? I'm right here. Come on. I'm right here. There's one right there. Let's go fight him. Come back here, Shek. Look at this Shek running away, man. <laughs> Come on, then. Ooh! Almost took out his heart there, man. Easy on him. Okay, okay. He's starting to stand his ground. Never mind. Never mind. Come on, you got this. Give me a challenge, man. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Give me that money. I'll be keeping all your weapons. Let's go back. One of them is up. Oh, they're bandaging their brothers, huh? Come here. Tora the Fearless. Isn't that their leader? Yo, we're about to take on the leader. All right, let's see. You, I sentenced him to die. Let him die. Oof. Dude, we disabled her arm. You got this, king. Come on. You got this, man. Ooh, come on. You got this. You got this. She's going down. She's going down. One more. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I'll take her frame axe. And you know what? She's wanted, isn't she? Pick up. Are you going to defend her? Are you going to defend her? Go down. Stay down. Stay down. You've saved him, huh? Well, too bad. Now you're about to die. Let's give her to the Shek. I'm just going to roll up to Squin, the place where all those Shek were talking crap. And I'll be like, hey, is this uh, not one of the most notorious Shek bandits? One of the strongest? One of the ones that uh, have been causing so much trouble for you? Here, it was easy as hell. I'm not even going to heal her. She's not dying or anything. So I'm just going to show up and be like, here, and let them see all the injuries that I've inflicted. Move out the way. I got Tora the Fearless here. Yeah, you can check. He probably checked my bag just because he was mad that I thought they're uh, their most notorious bandit. All right, where's that police station? I Gotta get paid here. Move along. Move along. I got Tora the Fearless here. Hello. All right. Sometimes it does glitch out. So I'll just put her in the cage myself. All right. Boom. 10,000 cats reward. Talk to. 
<laughs> ay, ay, ay. Never mind. Ooh, I can use her to... Wait, wait, wait. Talk to? Comfy in there if the accommodations suit you. I'd like to know more about you. You wish to know about me? We're very well. I am a fighter I, and I travel in the hope of destroying the corrupt Greenlanders. <laughs> Do not toy with me. <laughs> I just trolled her basically. I was like, you, you'll join me. And she's like, I respect you. Yes, I can join you. And then I'm like, all right, before you join me, just how berserk are you? <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. All right, boys, you saw that, right? So, uh, don't you ever talk down on us, Greenlanders. Well, damn, King Doobie coming up in the world. He's achieved so much already in such a short time frame. Next, this man is going to cause the downfall of the entirety of the United Cities, where he might meet other like-minded individuals but that's gonna have to wait until the next one because that's all the time we have for uh, today i hope you enjoyed king's story so far let me know in the comments if you want to see more or if you have any other ideas you want me to cover and i'll see you guys in the next one much love Bye bye